Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Emerald Diamond, home of the Marauders. They welcome the Olympians to the field today. Wilder Bobbert on the mound today for the Olympians. Chip Oliver on the hill for the Marauders. This is game number 113. Number 14. Ellie Mullins leads it off, and this is a big game. This is a huge game, folks. 2-1 now to Mullins. Four-seamer, two-seamer, curve and change for Oliver, and he walks Mullins to lead off the game. There's Joey Trickster, 4-12, four, four homers, 16 RBIs for Trickster. Big game, folks, because these two are division rivals. Marauders are in first. The Olympians are one game back from them. Olympians really looking for a win today. 1-2 to Trickster. Oh, right back to... Oh. Oh. Oh, and the, they're throwing the ball all over the place. Chip Oliver right in the marbles. Maybe right in the emeralds is what I should say. And he's rattled, stays in the game. That's why I wear a cup, folks. Gertie Booper in now. The 1-1 one, one count. That's grounded to Gentry. Goes across the diamond to Quinto for sure out of first. Runners move up. Second and third now. Spencer Pinata steps in. One out. What a way. Ooh, and he brushes it back off the plate. What a way to start the game. Here, Chip Oliver. And four straight balls. Panada is walked. Now the catcher, number 16. Marty Hull now. Steps in with the bases juiced. And pepperonis to Gentry to Quinto. The inning ending double play they get out of it. Holy cow. I can't believe they got out of that. At least uh, Oliver will be icing down the family jewels as that one has popped up to Shaw for the first out. Joaquin Buck steps in. 309, six homers, 12 RBIs. Fouls out one way. And again, the one, two. Two two popped up to Booper for the second out. Comes up Stetson Fuller, number three hitter today. DH and he pops that one up. Just missed that one. Loud out to Neil Shaw. Six, seven, and eight do up now for the Olympians. Get tracked. Playing right field today. Utility guy. Oliver still rattled. Junk is still in the red, which is apropos. And that's out number one. Neil Shaw. 288. Four homer, 17 RBIs for Shaw. Having a good year. 98, though, from Oliver. Still. Throwing gas. See a 6.63 ERA is 0-2 in the season. That one's grounded to Quinto for the second round. 0-2 despite Marauders being 14-8 and being ahead of the Pepper Jack division. They have a full game lead over the Olympians. Here's Werner Foul, left fielder. Quickly, 0-2. Got him. Good pitching. Good way to work back there for, for uh, Oliver. And that'll bring up the heart of the order. Gentry, Leo, and the long throw. For the home team. Wilder Bobber is 0 and 1 on the season. You see his 6.75 ERA at this point. He's been the most steady arm out of the Olympian rotation. As that one's grounded to Booper for the first out. Here's Leo. 286, two homers, 10 RBIs. The broader center fielder. That's a base hit up the middle. Gotta think Bobbert was 
trying to protect himself after watching his compadre uh, take one to the groin. Lee runs exceptionally well over there at first base. And here's Raina McLongthrow. 433, four homers, 11 RBIs. Having a hell of a season. Full count now on McLongthrow. That one is dropping in. Base hit. Runner goes for third. He'll get there easily. Now that is the right fielder. Number, now number seven nine. hitter, Robert Plough, steps in. Base hit up the middle. Scores that run. Marauders take the one nothing lead. Now battle, the Number Here's Julian Park. One out, runners on first and second. Okay. Runners, very good speed, very, very close play there. Just got McClung for a clean in. That one's hit the left field. She's going home. And they're safely. Run, or the throw came into third base. Second baseman. For some reason, for the foul. Popped up. To get tricked. We're going to third. And safe. Just beat the tag. Brings up top of the order, Lila Quinto. With two outs, runners in the corners. Runners with a 2 nothing lead. One two pitch. Low. Almost got her chasing. Two and two. Hit. That's a rocket. Right off the wall. One run scores. And safe. In there with a very close. <laughs> in there with a double. RBI double. Marauders take the three-nothing lead. Joaquin Buck steps in. Grounded to Mullins. That's the final out. Marauders score three runs. At the bottom of the second. We go to the top of the third. 9 1 and 2 do well. And Bowles will lead it off for the Olympians. And that long half inning as Bowles grounds the gentry in the first out. The long half inning seemed to do Oliver some good. See, he's got a little bit back on his junk. He's Still oh. tense, but not rattled, so see if he can settle down now, especially with the lead. 2-0 now to Mullins. There's a strike. The Olympian second baseman. 3-8 team, four homers, eight RBIs, and she strikes out. Now having the designated hitter, number 13. And here's Joy Trickster. Oliver sneezes. No that one's fouled away. Packed house here today at the Emerald Diamond, as you can see. Said this division rivalry popped up. It's pepperonis for the final out. That nice shot of the whales there in the harbor. Ferris wheel the hotels. Here's Stetson Fuller to lead it off. Three, four, and five do up. In the bottom of the third. Marauders. Three now. There's a strike. That was the fourth ball. Popped up. Get track. Camps under it. For the first out. Now battle. The There's Tugger Gentry, 0 for 1 so far today, but having a good season. Brandon Mullins, out number 2. And Xerox Liu steps in. This has been kind of a battle between these two teams all season for uh, first place. 
out of the way. It's two and two now on Liu. Got him looking. Good pitching there from Bobber. Three, four, and five do up now for the Olympians. But at the top of the fourth, said, you know, these two teams have really been at each other's heels, throats, whatever you want to say, all season. Olympians got out to the early lead and then it's fouled away. The Marauders kind of crept, crept up there and they've been back and forth ever since. Really, these two have taken, kind of set themselves apart from the others. That one's shattered back. Third for the first out. Here's Panada. And hits that one, but foul. So we'll have to see. We'll see what happens. Popped up. Carried a lot more than I thought it would. Plows. And here's Marty Hall. Two outs, top of the fourth. And 0 and 2 to Hull. Try to get him chased down and in. And the 2 2. Good eye. Good eye. Three and two, and Hull walks. Now back, the right fielder, number seven. Getrek steps in. Number 17. Two outs, runner on first, and Hull does not run. Well at all. No worries. So that's just a little liner to tater pepperonis. Six, seven, eight. Pick the long for a Plows and Park. Throw up here for the home team. Number 46. And don't put it there again. <laughs> that was a foul ball out of the ballpark. 45 pitches here for Bobber in the bottom of the fourth. Longford fouls that one again. And a base hit up the middle. She runs quite well, too, over there at first, so brings up Plows, who won for one today with a single. I don't know if they'll test Bobbert. He is the lefty. I think he's really picked off anybody this season. Though. 2 1 to Plows. And now the 2 2. Got him. Got him looking. Pitching there by Bobbert. Julian Park one for one today. I say that with some surprise in my voice because Julian Park is one of the league leaders in strikers, if not the league leader. <laughs> And the one two. They throw. And she dies back in safely. Got him. Frozen. Good pitch. Hook there. For Bobber. Tater Pepperoni steps in. Two now. There's a strike right down the pike. Grounded through the right side. I wonder, and yeah, there she goes. McLongthorpe going to third. Slides in safely. Good heads up base running. So runners in the corners now. Brings up Quinto, top of the order. She's one for two so far today. And wow, three quick pitches there from Bobber. Good pitch selection, just off speed, off speed, off speed. Good pitching. The center fielder, number 20. Top of the fifth now, Marauders still lead it 3 0. Bottom part of the order due up here for the Olympians, as that one is skied in foul territory. And goes foul into the stands. One and two now. And Shaw with the base hit up the middle. Now Brings 
picks up foul. I'm wondering how much longer Oliver's going to stay in there. He's only at 60 pitches. That is his 60th pitch. So we'll have to see. There it goes. Test Park's arm, and he throws out Shaw. And that one's popped up. Pepperonis is there. Liam Bowles now. For one. And just as I suspected, Oliver is out. Odell is in. Oliver's pitching well, though, so I don't know why they pulled him. And then he was hurt beginning of the game. The one two to Bowles. God is swinging. He's up, very upset with himself. 2 3 4 to a Buck Fuller Gentry. Home team Marauders. Bobbert's still working away. 65 pitches here. And looking pretty settled. Not a lot of movement on his stats. Maybe a little lower on stamina. And he walks him. The Buck is on first. Brings up Fuller, 0 for 2 today. Oh, plunks him. So two on now for Tugger Gentry, who's 0 for 2 today. No outs, bottom of the fifth. And I imagine Bobbert's going to get pulled after this lefty on lefty matchup with Gentry. And especially if he walks him. And he walks him. Walks the bases loaded. And here's Liu, one for two with a single. And just as I suspected, we're going to see Mercado coming out of the bullpen. Mercado's been used quite a bit, though, lately. So you see his junk is down. He's looking rattled already. No outs. Bases loaded. That one's hit. Extra bases for sure. That actually is going to be a bases clearing triple and the Marauders take the 6-0 lead Raina McLongthrope steps in now she's 2 for 2 Xerox Liu RBI triple 3 RBI triple McLongthrope the RBI double is she going to extend it she does Two triples in a row. Seven nothing now. Marauders lead it. Here's Wilder Plows. No outs. No outs. The one two pitch. One out. <laughs> And Mercado's out, blazes in. Mercado really struggled there. Now Julian Park steps in. That one gets away from Hull behind the plate. McLongthrum scores. It's an 8 nothing lead. And Park hits a base hit up the middle. Things kind of falling apart here for the, the Olympians pitching staff. Brings in Tater Pepperonis. One out, runner on first. That's there's a little liner to Mullins. Round number two. Lila Quinto steps in one for three today. Swings through that one. Nice change up there by Blaze. The one-two. And now the two-two to Quinto. Base hit up the middle. Runner goes to third. So runners on the corners. Joaquin Buck steps in. He's over two for walk today. And boy, this is an ugly, ugly inning here for the Olympians. 3 0 to Buck. There's a strike. Blaze is working back. And that's popped up. Shaw. 
out number three, but a five run bottom of the fifth for the Marauders. They lead it eight to nothing. And here's the top of the order now for the Olympians. Grounded pepperonis for the first. First out and a quick first out. Holy cow. Trickster steps in one for two. The 1 1. Kind of gentry. There's across the Quinto for out for 2. And here's Booper 0 for 2. And quickly 0 and 2 and Booper. Almost got her thinking about it. 1 and 2. And again. 2 2. Base hit up the middle. Hooper's on. Two out single. Now Brings up Panada, who's over one today, today with a walk. He's juiced, though, and locked in. Up. Should say Odell is juiced as well. Four seamer cutter and curveballs, but Odell sports. 3 0. Oh. There's the big curveball. And again, hey. walks him. So Marty Hull comes in now. And looks at a strike with two outs. Runners on first and second, top of the sixth. 2-1. And outside, 3-1. And walks the bases loaded. So let's see if the Olympians can throw a little two-out rally at this. Getrek steps in. And I thought the ump said strike, but he said that was high. That's one and one. And now one and two. Getrek swinging bunt. Park. Fires for the final out. The Olympians leave the bases loaded. That's the bottom of the sixth. 3, 4, and 5 do up for the Marauders. Blaze is still in there, working away. Trying to eat up some innings here. Now he's flashing red, so he'll be gone. I wonder if Blaze, I don't know if he uh, faced his... Faced his yeah, he must have faced his uh, three batters. Super Mega Baseball, you have to face three batters if you come out of the bullpen. I like that rule. Ball. Runner on first, Tugger Gentry. Ball. Looks at three balls from Adam Bugles, hey, right. who has struggled all season. Oh. Right at Mullins. Here's Liu. The one one to Liu, who had a big RBI triple last inning. Try to get him to chase high, full count. And base hit through the right side. That brings up McLongthrope, three for three, a triple, two singles, an RBI. Oh boy, if she can sneak out a home run. And a double hit for the cycle. 2 1. One out. Runners on first and second. Swing and through that. Popped up. Shaw is there. Is that deep enough to get that runner over? Should be. Throw to third. He slides in safely. And we're going to have Mitchell Bree come in in the closer's role. Or, I'm sorry, not in a save situation. He is the closer. Two outs, though. Runners in the corners for a while with Plows. 
Looks at three straight balls from Bree. I don't know what is happening. Thank you, man. And he walks him. Walks the bases loaded. I don't know what's happening with these Olympians pitchers lately. That's a foul. They've really been knocked around. They've dropped a lot of their past. Dropped their last two of their last three games. That one's hit very high, very far, and gone into the VIP seats. Julian Park, grand slam, 408 foot shot, his first homer of the year, eighth RBI. The Marauders. This is just a blowout, 12 to nothing. And here's Tater Pepperonis with two outs. Bottom of the sixth. Swings through that one, one and two. That one's fouled away. Swings over that one. Hull recovers, fires down to get him at first. So an ugly, ugly inning again for the Olympians. Bottom part of their order is due up. And Odell's just going to be in there to close it out here. Don't want to really waste any more arms out of your bullpen, especially with playoffs coming up. Ooh, that's off Odell. Let's see if they can recover. No, no chance. So runner on first, Warner Foul steps in. I just can't get over. And let's see if they can turn to Quinto, to Gentry, back to Quinto. 3-6-3 three, three, double play. Olympians down to the final out. And Bowles steps in. Base hit up the middle. So the Olympians stay alive here in the top of the seventh. Now batting, the top of the order here. Mullins, Mullins over two to the walk. See Odell flashing red. He's just going to try to get out of this. And 3-0 and oh now to Mullins. Oh, and he walks her. Actually, my pull one now. So Tricks are one for three in the single. Yeah, they're going to bring in Von Crum. Just to face Trickster. Going to end this ball game. There's a strike. One and two on Joy Trickster. Two two. Hundred on the gun. Got her. Ball game over. Marauders win. And boy, do they win big. Oh, 5 and 0 oh for the Olympians. 12 14 and 0 oh for the Marauders. And boy, let's take a look at offense right off the bat. On the Olympian side, the hits coming from Trickster and Booper. Shaw two for three, and then Bowles one for three. Four strikeouts in the Olympian side and six walks, so that's kind of surprising. It's funny, the uh, Marauders struck out more. They had six strikeouts and three walks, but look at the offense. Just two for four, Quinto. Three for four, Liu, three RBIs. Three for four, Longthrow with an RBI. Quinto at the top of the order with an RBI. Plows, one for three with an RBI. Julian Park, three for four with a home run, a grand slam, five RBIs. And Tater Pepperoni's gonna hit as well. Just, just bananas. <laughs> just absolutely bananas on the, uh, <laughs> bananas on the Marauder's side. Let's take a look at the pitching. Odell gets the win, 
improves to 4-1, and one, so Oliver gets the no decision here. Bobbert gets the loss, drops to 0-2, oh and, and let's look at the top three players. Well, the pitchers at the would be used too. Ugly, ugly outing. Julian Park, 3 for 4, Homer, 5 RBIs in the run. Xerox Liu, 3 for 4, triple, 3 RBIs, 3 runs. And McLaughlin, 3 for 4, three, uh, triple, RBI, and 2 runs. So, what an offensive showing here by the Marauders. They wallop the Olympians 12 to nothing. So, that means the Marauders improve to 15 and 8. The Olympians drop to 13 and 10. And here's the interesting thing, folks. These two teams play again. Uh, they each have one game left, and it's against each other, I believe. So uh, it looks like it looks like the Marauders just clinched first spot in the Pepper Jack division with this win tonight. So that means the Olympians will be the number two team. The Olympians were a game back. So they can't make up uh, this loss. So Marauders clinch the Pepper Jack division here. And boy, did they, did they do it in big style. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for me here today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this game. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And also, be sure to follow us here. Geek Cheese on YouTube. It's your home for Cheese League Baseball. Follow us on Twitter at geek underscore cheese at your home for Cheese League Baseball news and updates and other fun stuff. And that's where the schedule announcements for the upcoming playoffs will be. So be sure to watch that. All those playoff games will, of course, be live broadcast here on YouTube. Game number 113 in the books, folks. That'll do it for me today. Take care. Have a good one. Marauders win.